a number of patients, about 50% at least, will do well with medical therapy. And if your symptoms are well controlled on medical therapy, there is no need for surgical intervention. It's simply an adjunct to medical therapy. Um, for those that fail medical therapy, we are seeing new agents such as the monoclonal antibodies, and I think that might have potential for the future. Um, but for those that have failed, I think surgery at the moment is our best option. Surgery can be uh, minimally invasive and can be sort of radical, but not in the sense of radically moving out a, any structure in, in the nose and sinuses, but rather really concentrating of removing all the inflamed mucosa. So the idea is that you leave the periost, um, that can be for the etmoid, for the maxillary sinus, you can also go to the frontal sinus, you can do a draft 3 approach in those patients with severe nasal polyps only, uh, and you would then create a situation where a new epithelium can regrow. We name this uh, operation Reboot the Systems, like uh, on a computer you have a virus, you get rid of it and you play, you use the same computer to, to play uh, on a, a new system that runs well. Certainly surgery is more of a last resort after medical therapy has failed and medical therapy now has many options much more than antibiotics certainly because of the inflammatory nature of the disease strong anti-inflammatories should be tried at least once in the course of the therapy and often that relies on cortisone. We see interest in alternative anti-inflammatories that are coming out with other, anti other medications such as macrolides or doxycycline which are used occasionally for their anti-inflammatory properties and very promising on the horizon are new medications to treat inflammation specifically using injected antibodies that will target specific aspects of the inflammatory cascade, such as IL-5 or IL-4. We are nowadays very much uh, interested and in investing into the medical approach of patients with chronic rhinosinusitis and how to position surgery versus medical treatment. And nowadays we are actually very much into research into that field because that's a very challenging field of research and that will bring us to precision medicine, which will actually be the way forward in the field of chronic sinusitis.